Okay, um, what's going on guys, Turner here, and welcome back to another video. So, yeah, I just got Wi-Fi back. Amazing. As you can tell, I got the marvelous wheel here. Running with no wheel clamp. Uh, what it is, I have the wire underneath the TV here. I'm pretty sure I already explained all that to y'all different video but if I didn't then oh well I just explained it here so um, yeah I'm not gonna be live streaming for a little bit um, strictly because the type of Wi-Fi we have is not set up for that just yet apparently I'm guessing I, I don't know but yeah uh, so I got the wheel here uh, I actually as you can tell by the blinking here I have it set but if I press the pedal you know, to press the pedal, I can't select. It's not like the arcade games, you know. Um, yeah, let's get a little bit of pedal. Let's see if we can't get a little pedal view here. Hmm? Yeah, as you can see, there's the pedals. There's one. The other one's out of the light over there. There's the other one right, up, right there, as you can tell. And there's the gas right there. But yeah, there's a little bit of pe pedal view. <coughs> yeah, let's get into it. Let's go straight to Need for Speed. Uh, yeah, these pedals are like really close together. I got a left foot brake if I want to stop. I gotta use my left foot if I want to stop uh, on this. It's just, it's really annoying, honestly. Whenever it comes to it, there's the EA, there's the ghost part. I'm gonna move y'all closer. We well, all got more real cam than look having to stare at me this entire time. Yeah, yeah, that, all y'all gotta do is just watch this and hear me talk. <laughs> Yeah, I just got a notification for someone being, uh, for someone doing a live stream right now. <coughs> I've been having a bad cough lately. Uh, nothing too major, though. <coughs> yeah, we got this, uh, nice little wheel set up here. Uh, I actually, the uh, Need for Speed video I did with the wheel at my Mammals and Papples house. Well, my grandparents' house, really. That was... I was actually on the wheel. Uh, uh, as y'all probably already heard me say in the video, in that specific video, hey, I got the wheel. Um, but yeah, this time I ain't got the Mustang. I'm sorry, I don't have the Mustang. Um, but I'm actually gonna get the Mustang back sooner or later. Now, of course, this is going to take a bit longer than usual to load. So. Y'all know how that is, sort of. <coughs> I really wish I had, I didn't have this call. And honestly, I also really wish I was able to edit this video. But, eh, it don't matter. Um, I actually have two new cars. I might actually drive the Ken Block. Mustang. I actually have the all-wheel drive Ken Block Mustang. Um, as some of y'all actually probably know. Actually, I don't know if I told y'all yet. I actually restarted the game. Uh, and I'm not doing missions with the wheel. No, 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 no. That, that's actually a big no-no for this. I don't do missions with the wheel. Uh, though. Um, and there's actually a reason I don't do missions with the wheel um and that is because most of the missions are well all the missions are racing so really if i want to do something with the wheel uh that involves any mission it'll be the uh cut scenes uh between uh parts of the game because you know everybody uh does something 
with the cutscenes and stuff, you know. <coughs> <coughs> now, uh, as you can tell, I have it set up for manual. The reason I did that is because, well, paddle shifts plus every time I hit the brake, whenever I'm like, because every time I hit the brake, as soon as the car actually stops, it likes to jolt backwards into reverse. So I'm actually having to switch back to the gas, the brake, jolt back in the reverse, and then kind of use the e-brake a bit to kind of transition from that. So instead, I have it set up for manual. It's actually a lot easier to do manual with the wheel here. Uh, so yeah, yeah, let's get to the game now. I don't know if y'all can see that very well or not, so I'm gonna kind of switch y'all a bit closer here. The TV. Get my controller out of the way. So yeah, there's Brian's car. And there's what's supposed to be a finished product of that car right there in the back. I don't know if y'all can see it. There. I kinda Get y'all a bit closer here. Yeah, let's do this. Oh, I'll unplug y'all from the charger. <coughs> that gum that dang call. Yeah, as you can see, that car in the back over there. Then you got this one right here. This is actually a finished product. This is actually the finished version of it right there. That is supposed to be a finished version of that. As you all possibly already tell. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into the Brian O'Connor School of Driving, shall we? Um, and if you're wondering, for most of y'all who have actually also played and beaten this game, y'all know that is Amy's build. So, since this is the finished product of that... I decided to put that character's name on the license plate. The reason is because, you know, it's that character's it belongs to that character, so that belongs to the character. This is not my car. This is not anybody's car except for that character's car in the game. So yeah, that that is actually the secret behind this car. <coughs> I gotta hate that call. But yeah, this is a finished product of it. That is the Brian O'Connor car. Let's go ahead and get into the Brian O'Connor School of Driving, shall we? This is going to be fun. I'm wondering if self-steer works very well. Sort of, but I gotta keep... I gotta kinda keep my hands on the wheel that way it doesn't fly off the dang desk. <laughs> Oh, the dang wire doesn't slide off under the TV and the wheel just go and goes right down. For most of y'all who've been sticking with my videos lately, y'all know my clamps, my, the screw on my clamp broke. Check out that first person view there. I'm going to turn this up a bit. Look, ma, no hands. <laughs> Look, ma, no hands. No controller either. <laughs> it's all the wheel. Yeah, this is actually not compatible with the T80, honestly. So that's why I have it like this. That way it reads as this. See, if I have it where it blinks, then it reads as this controller here. Which is actually <coughs> one thing I really like it to do. So if I just let off the brake a bit, I completely just let out on the brake. Turn the wheel. Right back the other way. Perfect. Then let's put it in reverse. Oh, and we can also do this. A really nice little mesmerating reverse burnout. Oh, 
I got my own, you know, if y'all can see that. Let's see. Now, can you see it? Yeah, let's get into the Brian O'Connor School of Driving here. So I'm having a left foot break it because, you know, I can't really... I can't really do much with this. I'm gonna go get the other car. It actually has nitrous and can drift. But yeah, this is just amazing. Yeah, there's the Ken Block Mustang. Ken's Unicorn Ford Mustang. 1965 Mustang, man. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, I'm sorry. Y'all have to hear mom back there. There. A little wheel cam here. I'm trying to give y'all like a sort of a dual view here of the TV and the wheel, which I'm guessing it actually does kind of work. Here's paddle shift number one, paddle shift number two. This is down, this is up. Right is up, left is down. All you have to know. R1, shift up. R2, uh, <clears throat> L2, L1, shift down. R2, drive. L2, stop. And then the foot pedal, stop. Stop. Thank you. We're driving the Sylvia. Oh yeah, she was made to drift. Yep, I just got into a wreck with a Camaro. <laughs> oh well. Oh gosh. <laughs> well, that happened. Yeah, I forgot to mention. Oh. I'm guessing that's why wheels weren't compatible with this game. 
Slap Train, take notes. If you were playing this on PlayStation, you better get a T80 for this game. Because, you know, it works. If you decide to play it on PlayStation again, Slap Train, take notes. Use a T80. Now, I'm going to show you how to uh, actually get it to blink like this. Well, I'm going to tell you, really. What you do is you got the cord that plugs into the PlayStation up here. <coughs> because my PlayStation is actually right over there. Right there. I'm guessing you can see it. It's like right here. Um, there we go. There, can you see it? No. There's the two PlayStations. PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 2. Well, <laughs> the, the cord had the white tape on it <laughs> for the wheel. <coughs> Jeez, dang cough. I hate it. Um, yeah. What you do is you hold the PS button here. Yeah, I'm gonna, you know, hold it, or you unplug it, and you start holding it, and you plug it back in, that's how you get it to blink, like this, and then press it, and then you can log in, and it reads as one of these controllers, one of these regular dual shock controllers, but if you want it to go back to a regular reading as a regular steering wheel, then what you want to do is unplug it again, hold the PS button down again, plug it back in and if you keep holding it then obviously then it'll just turn on automatically and you can log in and then you can use this again uh yeah that's actually how you get it to work on this so let's actually go ahead and switch to something else I'm gonna actually take GTA out Oh goodness, my bad. Let's take GTA out. <clears throat> Here's the case. Here's the disc. Got the this last year for my 15th birthday. I'm 16 now. That's flipping amazing. Birthday is January 14th. So Next year, if y'all want to, go ahead and hit up in the comments, huh? We are going to play The Cruel. Now, the easiest way to play it, if you want to drift really good, first, let's, uh, let's do this. Okay. Unplug. Hold. And replug. Boom. <coughs> now we can plug both. Now we can turn two things on. So the easiest way to play is I can actually take this controller, put it over here on my right, since I'm right-handed. And you know, this controller, th this, you know, Slap Train, he's got a uh, Hydro e-brake on his set. Well, I ain't got a Hydro. So what I can do is I can reach up here and press square on the controller for the crew and flick the wheel and drift. Unless I'm using certain cars and I can just flick the wheel and drift. Easy. <coughs> Let's see if the crew will actually let me play, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna twist it this way so that way y'all can see the entire screen. Man, I'm hoping it lets me play. I have not played the, these two games in a while. The Crew and Need for Speed. That is because, well, you know. You already know, I mean. I've been getting mad about it. And those two streams, well, I just got really lucky with my phone's uh, data, so. 
Y'all know how that goes. <coughs> because my phone's data didn't... I, I don't really get r very good signal out here. Or at my friend's house. You know, Jesse. Uh, my good friend Jesse. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's a reference to my first video ever. My first ever video. I'm gonna have my good friend near Jesse follow me around. <laughs> yeah, if y'all want to check that out, that was the that was the silliest thing we've ever done. The dumbest video is the Herbie one. I think I actually still have the Herbie one up on my channel, so I'm not actually gonna I'm not planning on deleting it. So if I still got that Herbie one up on my channel, y'all gotta see it. That is just stupid in the making right there. <coughs> like, seriously, I'm making fun of my own video. That's saying something. If I'm making fun of my own video, that's just stupid in the making. These newer videos are better than that one. Herbie is a love bug, and love bugs always follow their owners. That was, like, literally the stupidest thing I ever said. See, like I said, see, like I... I <coughs> See, me? That got me out Man, I'm getting kind of drippy here. I stayed up all night. <laughs> then I fell asleep earlier and woke back up. <coughs> but yeah, I'm not very droopy. I'm just starting to kind of see things. That's all. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm not stupid, but... No, um... I'm just kind of losing my train of thought. You get a video, Mom? But yeah, um... I'm losing my train of thought here. <coughs> and, uh... <laughs> Yeah, that was the stupidest video I ever made. And like I always say, my videos are not scripted or anything. They are 100% improv. <coughs> but yeah, my, my videos are 110% improv. My blue Camaro. Yep, we're gonna be driving a blue Camaro apparently. Yep, I can use this controller over here. So look, look. It's in first gear. Uh, see, it's in first. So yeah, I can use this controller over here for my hydro. Ooh. Yeah, I could just put the controller down. Oh, no, it's, it's mixed up with everything. Right. There we go. Oh, no, it. Thank controller. It's mixed up with everything. Oh, this dang cord, really. It's just a cord. It's mixed up and everything. I just hate whenever you leave cords alone and all of a sudden, poof, they get tangled. 
Like what in the world happened to the cord? And how in the world is it tangled? So, let's put this right here. Right, I'm gonna see how it feels to drive left hand drive. You ready for this? I can actually shift the stick here or like that. Is it the jump? Yeah, I'm gonna put it back over here. <laughs> I'm going it. I can control this rope. I don't think the controller is charged enough.
Well, that's one way to reset. Alright, I'm gonna do a paddle shift for a sec. Actually, it'd be easier to stick shift with it on the desk instead of in a drawer. <coughs> Yeah, that didn't smile right there is kilometers. I'm gonna drop paddle shift for a sec here. Dad, mom wants you. Huh. Well, all right, I just did that in the home video. Oh well. 
Not like I care. Come on, I'm gonna put this dang controller back over here. Well, there it is, folks. It's the Nissan Skyline on the crew. Well, guys, I hope y'all like this video. Uh, um, just go ahead, drop a big thumbs up, or just do whatever, honestly. Comment if you want to. You don't have to. If you don't want to, just go ahead. Peace.